Hey everybody, welcome to Board Online, Board Offline. Today we are continuing our Finish the Campaign Fridays with another game of Gloomhaven. Today we're playing Scenario 16, Mountain Pass. So we're going to get right down to the table. I am playing with two of the unlockable classes, the Music Note class and the Two Mini class. So if you're concerned about spoilers, you're going to have to... You know, that those are what we're playing with, so you'll have to watch the video later after you've unlocked those classes. Or if you just don't care, come on in. Let's play with these two classes. They're a lot of fun. I've really uh, started to kind of figure out a synergy between the two of them. So uh, the previous two videos that I put out, I was having a little bit of trouble with them. I think I finally got it figured out, and uh, they're really kind of clicking now. So let's get down to the table, and we're going to play Mountain Pass. All right, so we are playing Scenario 16, Mountain Pass. Uh, goal is to kill all the enemies. Introduction. There is a certain shaking of heads that happens along with the mention of dragons, as if the person saying it can't even believe the words coming out of their mouth. Dragons don't exist, they say, but some giant winged beast has been sighted to the north, so you set off to see if maybe they do. Your goal is the Ice Crag, the tallest mountain in the Coppernex. To get there, though, you'll need to head through the Northern Pass. Uh, through the Northern Pass, a narrow corridor between two massive stone cliffs that is known for frequent avalanches and other dangers. You tread carefully, watching high above you for any signs of an ambush. This wariness is what saves you from being crushed by a hail of boulders rumbling down the cliffside. You dive for cover as a rock's hit, then look up to see a group of Inox emerging from a concealed cave to one side of the pass. They intend to kill you with the rocks, but your survival has only motivated them to pursue a more conventional option. All right, so and then once we get to uh, this door here, that's where we'll do number one. All right, so as far as my characters go, we've got our Beast Tyrant here, the bear and the uh, the Beast Tyrant right here. Um, he is level six right now, and he is carrying... We've got the Eagle Eye Goggles. During an attack, you gain advantage on the entire attack action. Leather armor. When attacked, the attacker gains disadvantage on the attack. During your single target range attack action, turn the attack into that area effect attack. The battle axe. During your single target melee attack action, turn the attack into this uh, two targeted attack. Minor mana potion. During your turn, create any element. Major Healing Potion, during your turn perform Heal 5 Self. And Minor Stamina Potion, during your turn recover up to two of your discarded cards. Then for the uh, Sooth Singer, which is this guy down here. By the way, here's the, the Beast Tyrant artwork here. Um, if you're interested in the backstory, you can pause and read that. And then the Sooth Singer up here. This actually got wet, which is why it's all messed up here. But here's their Sooth Singer. And if you want to read about him, there you go. Or her. Not really sure. Possibly a her. All right. Okay. Let's get started. So we're playing on level three, which means that these two guys both have 13 hit points. The Inox Archers, these are Earth Demons. These are Inox Archers in the back here. And both of them have nine, nine health. The, the Earth Demons have 13 health, two movement, and three attack. The Inox Archers, nine health, two movement, three attack, and three range. Okay. All right, so let's see here. So for the Beast Tyrant, um, who's got, who's by the way level six, so he's got 11 health. The Sooth Singer is level four with nine health, and the Bear has 20, 20 health. Yeah, level six is 20 health. 
All right, so I forgot to show you what the Suit Singer has for gear. We've got the Helm of the Mountain when attacked. If uh, Nature Magic is in the strong column here, then immobilize the attacker. Cloak of Invisibility, during your turn gain Invisible. That's really useful if you know you're about to do a long rest. Drake Scale Boots, you're unaffected by difficult and hazardous terrain. Since I've gotten these boots, I have not actually encountered difficult or hazardous terrain, but they're there when I need them. Uh, minor Healing Potion, we know it. That, well, no, actually, we didn't. he has Major, so this one only heals three instead of five, like the Major Healing Potion. And then Minor Stamina Potion, we do know what that one does. Okay, so our Suit Singer has eight initiative. The... Uh, Beast Tyrant is going to have 19. We've got 87 for the Earth Demon, 31 for the Archers. So Sooth Singer is going first. And first thing they're going to do is play Echoing Aria. All allies now have Retaliate 2 at range 2. And they'll gain one experience point at the beginning of each of their turns. So that'll be an ongoing effect unless I play another song. The only other song that they've got is this one uh disorienting dirge all enemies gain disadvantage on their attacks which is very that's that's definitely something that would be uh pretty like, like I, I like the idea of playing this one but i think i will put this one out after i've really put a lot of curses in their deck um i've got a lot of curse cards in here and i'm going to try to fill their deck with as many monster curse cards as possible and and then maybe put this out so that we have a real strong chance of drawing those curses uh, and then the other card that and then the other card is unending chant move to shield one and so i'm actually going to move one two right here and so these two allies because uh, that that shield affects all adjacent allies so these two are going to have shield one. Then the uh, beast tyrant goes. The bear always activates first, and it uses monster rules, so it's going to attack this uh, earth demon. All right, and draw plus one. The bear attacks. So here's the, the bear's stats here. Uh, health points is eight plus two times the level of the bear, and so that's how he has 20 health. And then move three, attack two, no range. All right, so what do we say though? Attack two, so plus one, so attack three. So there, there is three damage already to the Earth Demon. We're gonna use Venomous Ally, which is uh, attack two, range four. And we're gonna hit the same Earth Demon with that. It's gonna poison him. But let's see, attack two. And plus zero, so it's just two attack. Uh, or two damage, but that puts him at five damage already. And he's poisoned. And then the other card, Ancient Ward, which we'll be using the top. So attack two, range four, target two, disarm. So we're going to disarm both of these guys. First, though, we got to resolve the attack, so we'll resolve it against him first. And remember, we're getting plus one for the poison. And, all right, so what was it? Attack two, so that's three damage. So he's already at eight damage now. And then this one over here, minus one, not doing great there. So that's only one damage to that one. But they're both disarmed. And I get one experience point for that as well. Okay. So now the archers are going to go. Uh, move and then attack plus zero. Let's see. They will actually, let's see, one, two. This one will go first. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. So they're going to have to, he's going to go to the bear. He's got range three, right? Yep, so one, two, three. So he's going to fire from there. So 
that's three damage right off the bat for the bear. All right, and then this one, one, two, three, four, five, five. He's actually going to attack the Soothsinger because both of these are five away from him. Soothsinger was earlier in initiative, so one, two. That gets him within range, and he's going to shoot at the Soothsinger. Plus one. Wow, four damage already. Uh, and this time we'll take it. The Soothsinger can't take that kind of damage a whole lot. Neither of them can, really. That knocks him down to five health. So then finally we got the Earth Demons. Move plus zero, which their normal movement is two. This guy would move here. He's going to try to get close to the Soothsinger. And that guy's going to stay right where he's at. But So he would move there. Then he would try to attack. But he can't because he's disarmed. And then same thing for this guy, also disarmed. So no attack. They would also try to convert one of the other elements into nature, but there's no elements to convert, and that's the round. All right, so we got to push through this bottleneck, so I'm going to go a little aggressive with the Beast Tyrant here. Uh, he's actually going to go third, though, as it turns out, uh, but it should, it should punch a hole here. Unfortunately, I don't like what the archers are about to do, and you'll see that here in a second. So the... Oh, I just realized something. Hold on. Who? No, they're three away. So, never mind. I was thinking I forgot to retaliate, but retaliate's only range two, and they're three away, so we couldn't retaliate. All right, so we're the Soothsinger is first going... Actually, the Soothsinger first is going to go ahead and heal using heal three self. That puts him back up to eight. All right. Uh, also, beginning of his turn, he gets one experience point because of Echoing Aria. Then he's going to play Disorienting Dirge for the bottom action here. Curse, target all enemies with range three. That's one, two, three. This guy's four, but the other three are within range three. So three curse cards will get placed in the monster deck here. And then also Bless all allies within range three. So two bless cards are going to go in the beast tyrant deck because the bear and the beast tyrant both get blessed. And one experience point for playing that card as well. So here's the two bless cards. And then we will go ahead and it's range three. The there, see, so yeah, his base attack is three. The archer's base attack is three as well. So we're going to use Throw Voice to disarm our two. Actually, these two guys might not make it. They might get taken out anyway. So we'll actually disarm. So if we range three, one, two, three. Yeah, he can he can disarm both of them because one of these spaces is within three. So the archers will get disarmed. And now it is the archer's turn. Move minus one, attack minus one. They can't attack uh, because they were disarmed, but then that goes away. But now here's the part that I don't like. Create a three damage trap in an adjacent empty hex closest to the enemy. So one of those is going to go here, which completely blocks my path. I'm going to have to go through that trap to get out. And then the other one, let's see, one, two, three, four. Either one of those works, so we'll put it in that one. And then I'll go ahead and put three damage markers on top of each one, just to remember that's how much it is. Okay. So now it's the Beast Tyrant. The bear goes first. The bear's actually going to attack this one because he's, number, he's uh, number one. This was number six. So... He draws a plus one. Oh, and he wounds him. All right, so that's going to be three damage, and he wounds him. So wound means that he'll take a, a, a damage at the beginning of his turn every turn, every round. So now, that was the bear. I'm now going to have the bear attack again. Oh. And he's gonna. I'm going to burn this kind of early, but we're going to go with focus aggression we're going to do attack five with the bear. 
and that's two experience points. Attack five. Times two, 10 damage. Oh, that's the blast that we just got as well. 10 damage, which I think is, yes, that is enough to just absolutely smoke that guy. So he is gone. Boom. All right. And the other card is uh, attack three. If we had nature. Oh, wait, this, that's right. I forgot. This, that's the other thing that I, I wanted to go ahead and burn it. That actually bumps nature up to here. Oh, but we can't use it on the same turn, so it actually doesn't matter. That's fine. Um, attack three is going to... Oh, minus two. Wow. Okay. So that's only going to be one, but then plus one for the poison. So that's two damage. Makes it ten damage total to him. All right, and so then the Earth Demon goes. Move minus one, attack minus one, target all adjacent enemies. So he will actually move here to get adjacent to everyone that he can. Target all adjacent. Oh, and then he's going to use the. Oh, man, I just helped him with that. He's going to go ahead and use this. And. Well, so. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's, let's do this in right order. So what's going to happen here is. Attack minus one, all right, so it's really attack minus two, so it's only one damage to each of them, one damage to the bear, and one damage to the Soothsinger. Puts him at seven. Then the Soothsinger's Helm of the Mountain will kick in, and that will immobilize, immobilize this guy. I'm not sure if that's really gonna be helpful or not. Then he's going to actually burn the nature magic and push each of them one space. So the bear will go here. Oh, let's not forget he's also poisoned. And we'll say the Soothsinger goes here or there. All right, so something I forgot uh, after he attacked these two guys is they both would have retaliated, dealing four damage to him, which would bring him to 14. He only has 13 health, so... He is dead as well. So we pull him off the board, drop a treasure there. All right. All right, so we've got 14 initiative for the Beast Tyrant, 85 for the Soothsinger, and uh, 56 for the Archer. So Beast Tyrant goes first. The Bear is going to go 1, 2, is going to step on this 3 damage trap, bringing his damage up to 6 now. So he's got 14 health left. But that trap is gone, so that actually worked out well. If the bear, if, out of all of us, the bear is definitely the tank. And then he's going to attack this archer here for two damage. The archer has nine health total. So the Beast Tyrant is going to play Blood Hunger, which is going to use it for the top. After your bear's next five attacks, it performs a heal to self action. And then we'll move three and provide shield one to the bear. Right there. Then the archers are going to go next. Attack minus one, target two. And they can't move. So they're going to first, this guy will attack the bear, and that will be at disadvantage because it's a ranged attack, but he's adjacent. So plus one or plus two. The plus one is definitely better. So that'll be three damage to the bear. Brings him up to 11 total. Glad he's about to start healing. But then the bear retaliates, and so that's two more damage to him. He also is going to attack the beast tyrant here, which is uh, just regular, not disadvantaged, plus one. So that is uh, three damage. Puts him at eight health. 
And then this one is going to do the same thing. Disadvantage against the bear, plus zero. Oh, there we go. We got a, a curse card, so nothing happens there. But the bear, oh, hold on. The beast tyrant retaliated against that guy, putting him at six damage. And then the bear retaliates against number six here. So that's two damage to him. And then he attacks the beast tyrant. You know what? I'm going to use the leather armor to make this, this attack be disadvantaged. So one and two. So minus two. Uh, which means no damage whatsoever. But the retaliate still happens. So four damage against him. All right. Now for the Soothsinger. First, the Soothsinger will do Singing Arrow. Use Curse up here. Range 3. Only, uh, so the way range works, only one of the red spaces needs to have a bad guy in it. And it does. So because 1, 2, 3. So these two and those two spaces would be what it's hitting. So two more Curses go into the monster deck. And then we've got Call to Action. One ally within range 3 may perform Attack 4. That'll be the bear. And he'll be attacking this one up here. Plus one. So it's attack five, which is definitely enough to take that guy out. Also, the bear is going to heal two and gain one experience point. So that puts him at nine damage now. Oh, let's don't forget that the Sooth Singer gains an experience point at the beginning of the turn. And this guy's gone. All right, so the Archer is 44 initiative, the Beast Tyrant 11, and 91 for the Sooth Singer. So Beast Tyrant's going first. The Bear attacks. Heal one. And plus one, so that's going to be three damage total. Which puts this guy at seven damage. And the bear heals two additional from Blood Hunger. So the bear only has six damage now. And we're going to use Punch Through to move three. One, two, three. And then Earth and Spikes attack three at range two, which is definitely enough to get to that guy. Uh, and I only need two damage, so I don't, two damage to kill him. So I, you know what? We're gonna, we'll use Eagle Eye Goggles because we're about to long rest anyway. We're gonna, we're gonna have a good moment to do that here. So we are using Eagle Eye Goggles to get right, so plus one damage but that definitely enough to kill him and earth and spikes makes nature come up there and so then the The Sooth Singer will use Change Tempo to move five, one, two, three. Actually going to stop here. That way they can loot that treasure at the end of their turn. Uh, and then Nimble Voice would attack two for Curse, but then they can Bless, affect one adjacent ally. So put another one of these cards into the Beast Tyrant deck. All right, and then they get a treasure token. All right, so then... Next round comes around. Both of them are going to long rest. So, but nothing else happens, obviously. So then uh, they both heal two. The Eagle Eye Goggles and Leather Armor are refreshed for the Beast Tyrant. So the Sooth Singer is now at full health. Oh, I forgot to give him his experience for last turn. Sooth Singer is now at full health. Beast Tyrant is at 10 health. Uh, the bear doesn't heal from a long rest. Now we got to figure out what cards we're getting rid of. And I think for the beast tyrant, 
we'll actually get rid of some of the uh, venomous ally. And for the Soothsinger, we want to keep our curses. I like that move five. I don't know if we want to get rid of that. Maybe call to action. Maybe this disarm, but I like being able to disarm people though. Yeah, we'll get rid of call to action. So that's the one that we're gonna lose. Okay, so we are going to have the Sooth Singer at initiative 44 and the uh, Beast Tyrant at 47. So Sooth Singer goes first. They will use change tempo to move five. One, two, three. So that's three, let's read one now before we go any further. With the pass blocked by the avalanche, you enter the cave to face your aggressors. Inside, you see a network of passages leading deep into the mountain. Perhaps they would be worth exploring once your foes are dead. All right, so I didn't realize this. So basically this was the pass and this is the detour through a cave that we're taking. All right, so we've got two unhouse guards and an elite wind demon. That we've got to deal with. He's got two more movement. We'll go one, one, two. All right, then he's got disarm, or he got throw voice that he'll use to disarm. It's range three. He can only get one of these people, but it'll, so we'll pick one of the guards. Oh wait, we need to draw for them real quick. So the Wind Demon, initiative 37. So the guards are 35. So all these guys are gonna go next before uh, the Beast Tyrant, because the Beast Tyrant is 47. So we'll disarm one of the guards. All right, and then the Sooth Singer is going to go ahead and activate the Cloak of Invisibility and will be invisible till his next turn. All right, so now the guards are going to go first. Move minus one, attack. So they their standard is 11 health, three movement, three attack, no range. But in this case, they have move minus one, so two movement, and attack plus zero at range two. But now they can't see the Soothsinger, so uh, move minus one, so two movements, so one, two. That's where he'll go. And one, one, two. All right, then the Wind Demon goes next. Move plus zero. So the Wind Demon has, it's an elite Wind Demon, shield two, eight health, five move, five movement four attack and four range. This guy's a little bit rough. So move plus zero, so five movement. Again, focusing on the beast tyrant down here. So he's got flying, right? Yep. One, two, three, four, five. Range three, but any corner of the attacker's hex to any corner of the defender's hex, yeah, he's got line of sight. Okay. So he is, and it's range four. Wow, range four. So actually, so that's where he would go, though, because he can't see otherwise. Um, oh, this went down, by the way. So it's going to be one, two, three. Oh, except he's not he's not doing range. He's not doing range. He's doing this attack pattern here. So in that case, I think he still gets me. No, he doesn't. He doesn't. So we're good. We're good. Okay. So now the bear goes. We can only go there because the beast tyrant's in the way. Way to go, beast tyrant. But then... Well, let's see now with him with them being so close. Yeah, we'll go we'll go ahead. 
Yeah. We're going to use Howling Bolts to make the bear move five, and we gain one victory point or experience point. Oh, forgot to give the Soothsinger his. All right, so one, two, three is as far as the bear can go. And then Patch Fur, Shield, one, affect all summon allies. I was thinking that maybe they would go later, so this isn't going to help any because the round is now over. Okay, so we've got 89 for the Soothsinger, 14 for the Beast Tyrant, 9 for the Wind Demon, 15 for the Guards. Okay, so the Wind Demon goes first. Attack minus 1. It's not moving at all, though. So it's actually going to attack the bear with disadvantage because it's a ranged attack. So minus one, so it's attack minus two, so it's only two damage. And then the bear is going to retaliate for two, and then the wind demon heals one. So, all right, so now the beast tower goes, which means the bear goes first and attacks the wind demon for two, plus zero. So it doesn't get through because of the shield. But then, will the Beast Tyrant will use Maul to move three, one, two, three, and then shield one for the bear. And then attack three, pierce four. So that's going to get through the shield of the wind demon. Attack three. Oh, the bear heals. Oh, the bear, by the way, should have healed two for that attack using blood hunger and gain an experience. And now it heals another one. Times two, so that's six damage. Oh, just one shy, just one shy of killing the wind demon. It's seven damage right now. And one experience for punch through. All right, and so now the guards go. Remember the Soothsinger is still invisible. Shield one, attack plus zero, but they're not next to anybody that they can see, so nothing happens. Nice. All right. Uh, oh, real quick. Did I want to? No, not yet. Never mind. All right. So now for the Soothsinger, who uh, is going to use Unending Chant, is now going to make the next five curses cursed an additional time. So we can really start loading them up. And then we've got attack one, range three. I didn't think about the fact it's gonna be it's gonna be uh, disadvantaged, but that's fine because we're gonna get the wound put on them. And oh, here we go. So it'll actually be against this wind demon. Oh, plus four. So it got through anyway. I was just thinking that um, that we would wound, give him a wound, and then he would die at the beginning of the next turn, but that killed him outright. Uh, And that actually gave the, I forgot to show you all the uh, battle goals. The battle goal for the Soothsinger was Dynamo, kill a monster during the scenario by causing at least four more points of damage to it than is necessary. So he got his. And the uh, Beast Tyrant has already gotten his as well. Cause a trap to be sprung or disarmed on your turn or on the turn of one of your summons during the scenario So because the, the bear tripped that, um, that trap earlier. Okay, so that turn worked out pretty good. Um, this is gone.
Beast Tyrant has 11 initiative, 14 for the Sooth Singer, 50 for the Guards. So we should have a pretty good turn here. Beast Tyrant obviously going first. The bear is moving here. I wish the bear could loot, but he can't. And is attacking for two. We are going to get nature going in the room. And so two damage to that guard. Then the Beast Tyrant is going to go, and he'll use Attack 2, Range 4, Target 2 to disarm them, an Ancient Ward. So we'll go after 6 first. Uh, oh, we're going to use, sorry, uh, we're using Eagle Eye Goggles for this, by the way. All right, so... so there, that's definitely the better one. Um... So what was it? Three. So that's three damage. I think that killed him actually. Yes. So he's dead. So we actually didn't even need the wound. And the other one. Oof. There we go. All right. So that gets him back up to 11 health. And then... Times two, so four damage, which puts him at six total damage. And he's disarmed, and I get an experience point for that. I don't think the Soothsinger got his experience point last time. So disarmed. And then we're just going to use the regular move down at the bottom of Earth and Spikes to move to, to here. All right, and the Sooth Singer goes. And first, use the bottom of Disorienting Dirge for uh, Curse. Target all enemies within range three. So thanks to Unending Chant, though, it's going to be two curses that go in the deck. I don't think the bear the bear didn't heal when he attacked that time, so the bear is actually back to full health, and that's another experience point. But now blood hunger is lost. And then bless both the bear and the beast tyrant get blessed, so that's two blesses that go in their deck and an experience point. For him. All right, and then Nimble Knife, attack two. Uh, so two damage. So this can go back over here. Two damage is not quite enough to kill him. Puts him at eight. So then another curse happens, which means two more curses happen. And then one ally gets blessed. So one more. Blast goes in the Beast Tyrant deck. And then the guard goes. So attack zero, attack plus zero, that will be attacking the bear. And it's a null, and then that triggers the retaliate, which kills him. Oh, he couldn't have attacked anyway because of that. So, but. Uh, we already saw it, so I'm not going to wreck on that. We will go ahead and use, well, do we want to? No. No, there's no reason to use Minor Stamina Potion because we can long rest now. All right, so long rest. Everybody, there's nothing to heal. Eagle Eye Goggles are good to go again. For the Beast Tyrant, we will get rid of... I think we have Patch Fur. Yeah, we'll get rid of Patch Fur. Yeah. Well, no, we'll get rid of Howling Bolts. All right. And 
the sooth singer we'll get rid of throw voice okay so the uh, Sooth Singer is going to go with move five from change tempo. One, two, three, four, five. So he hits this trap, which is just a regular damage trap. And for, so for level three, that means five damage. Oof, five damage. Um, That's fine because next turn the uh, the beast tyrant will heal him. So he's knocked down to four health. Where was he? He's here. One, two, three, four, five. We'll put him there. Okay. And then he's going to switch from the echoing aria from this song, which goes into the discard pile. He's going to switch over to the disorienting dirge. So from now, this point forward, all enemies gain disadvantage. Oh, and let's not forget he gets a experience at the beginning of his turn. All right, so all enemies get disadvantage now. Beast Tyrant's going to move the bear first. One, two. And then one, two, three. I got, you know what? I guess I would put him there so that he could go here. All right, five. And then the other card is really just kind of wasted. Not really anything going on there. Well, I guess technically the bear, one, two, because the bear would have moved over one towards him. It wouldn't have moved that way yet. So, all right, so the... Beast Tyrant goes first, and he's just going to use Ancient Ward to heal the Sooth Singer back to full strength. And again, this card is just kind of wasted, which is unfortunate. But we are going to use Minor Stamina Potion to regain uh, Unstoppable Beast and Ancient Ward. Then the Soothsinger is going to use Warding Dagger just for its regular movement to go to the treasure chest. And the other card is just wasted. So now the treasure chest we're going to open up. It's treasure chest one. which is a random item design. All right, so let's see what we got. Shoes of Happiness. If you move six or more hexes on your turn, gain one experience point. So this is just a design though, not the actual item, so these will go into the shop. The uh, 32 initiative for the Beast Tyrant, 89 for the Soothsinger. Beast Tyrant is gonna use Unstoppable Beast to move five spaces. The bear first will move towards the Beast Tyrant, one, two. Technically, that doesn't happen uh, in strict Gloomhaven rules, but that is how I play. If there's no bad guys for the bear to focus on, he focuses on the Beast Tyrant. I do that for all the summons in the game. Um, all right, so one, two, three, four, five. All right, so in this room, we have an elite... Earth Demon right here, right inside the door. That's going to be 20 health. Uh, he immobilizes his enemies when he hits them, when he attacks them. Two movement, four damage. Uh, and then the only other thing we've got is an elite, I say the only thing, uh, an elite wind demon, which we've dealt with before. Oh, that's gone. Okay. So real quick, the Earth Demon is 79 initiative. The Wind Demon is 43 initiative, so both of them will go before the Soothsinger does. But Ancient Ward is the other thing that the B 
Beast Tyrant is going to play, which is the most important part of this is the disarm and one, two, three. Yes, he has range for both of them, so both of them will be disarmed. He's also going to use Eagle Eye Goggles to attack with um, advantage. So first against the Earth Demon. All right, we wounded the Earth Demon. That's good. So it's three damage against the Earth Demon plus a wound. And, and he's just disarmed. And then for the uh, wind, times two. So four damage, which gets two damage through the shield. And he is disarmed. Okay. So now, let's see, the Wind Demon goes first. So push all adjacent enemies, which is nobody, and then attack plus zero at range. Well, you can't attack, so that doesn't matter either. Okay, so nothing happens. Dis the disarm goes away. And now the Earth Demon takes a wound for, or takes the damage for being wounded. And move plus one, but he stays right where he's at. Attack plus zero can't happen. All right. So now, Soothsinger, use Nibble Knife to move four. One, two, three, four. And then Singing Arrow to throw out a curse which will just hit the Earth Demon, but again, it's worth oh, two curses. Also, he gets an experience point for the beginning of his turn and an experience point for unending chant for the extra curse. Okay, uh, so I did a short rest with the Beast Tyrant uh, so that I could recover uh, that disarm as well as Unstoppable Beast. Now, one thing I realized when I attacked the Earth Demon with the Beast Tyrant, it should have been disadvantaged then I use Eagle Eye Goggles, which would have made it normal. So this time when I attack him, I will do it disadvantaged uh, to make up for, for that problem. Because it, it um, I guess I should do like triple disadvantaged. I'll draw three cards and pick the worst uh, because that, that'll try to fix that issue from last time. Okay, 19 for the Beast Tyrant, 8 for the Sooth Singer, 83 for the Demon, for the Earth Demon, 43 for the Wind Demon. So Soothsinger is going first. He is giving Shield 2 to all allies within 3 range. That gives him uh, an experience point, also an experience point for the beginning of his turn. And that's all he's doing um, because Warding Dagger doesn't have range, so he can't do anything with that. All right, so now Beast Tyrant Bear moves 1, 2. Then... Unstoppable Beast has the bear move. Oh no, that's, f oh no, wait a minute. That's not what I wanted to play. Oh, did I lose that card? Oh, I did. Oh well. Um, well, I've, hold on. All right, well, whatever. I, I don't even want to move, so we'll just put that there. That's fine. Um, because I want to stay where the shield is. So that's why I don't want to move. So then we have attack two. So he's going to do the against the um, Earth Demon first, but it'll be double disadvantage. So, oh, burning that. So out of all that, I think technically this would be best because this would increase the damage. So, so it's just going to be two damage. Oh, that would have been there. That's back up to there. So two damage. So Earth Demon is at six damage now. And he's disarmed again. And the other one is, oh, minus two. So no damage to the Wind Demon, but again, disarmed. And one experience point. All right, and so then we've got the Wind Demon, 
whose focus is going to be the Beast Tyrant, but uh, he's not going to hit him. And he's within range, so he stays where he is. All right. And then the Earth Demon, same thing, stays right where he is. Oh, but he does take a, uh, damage for being wounded. It was actually kind of stupid that I did the uh, the shield too. I got, I got experience out of it, so that's fine. Okay. But it, what it, it was stupid that I didn't. So what I should have done when I played a subtle beast is there was no reason not to move him because the shield didn't matter. So he would have gone here just so he could not be right next to the that demon. All right, we got 11 for the... Beast Tyrant, 56 for the Sooth Singer, the 62 for the Earth Demon, and 2 for the Wind Demon. So Wind Demon is definitely going first. Shield 1, so that puts him at Shield 3. Move minus 1, attack minus 1. He's going to attack the Beast Tyrant, 1, 2, 3, 4. He doesn't need to move at all. So he will attack minus 1, and he's attacking at disadvantage at all times now. There we go. That's what I was hoping for. But he does then trade out that for that. And I'm not I'm not close enough to retaliate, so that doesn't happen. All right, so now Beast Tyrant goes. One, two. Beast Tyrant's going to move. Well, first he's going to attack this guy uh, with Earthen Spikes. Range two, we're gonna try to, we're, gonna, we're not try, we're going to immobilize him. He heals one, but he's already at full health, so that doesn't matter. Plus two, there we go. So that's five damage, puts him at 12. Nice. And it immobilizes him. And this goes up. And then move three. One, two, three. I want to get next to that wind demon to try to force dis. Well, he's got disadvantage anyway. So I actually, I guess that doesn't matter a whole lot. But still, I'm going to move over there. So next up is the Soothsinger. He's going to move. One, two, three, using Nimble Knife, move four, and then attack with Warding Dagger, three plus one, that's four damage, so it would immobilize him too, which he's already immobilized, so that doesn't matter, but the uh, four damage is really what I'm looking at here. So that brings him up to 16 total damage. All right, now he takes one damage for the beginning of his turn, the Earth Demon does, that puts him at 17. Then he's going to attack the Soothsinger, but he's disadvantaged. There we go. And Soothsinger retaliates. Oh, no, no, sorry, the retaliate doesn't happen anymore. Did I retaliate last time? I think I retaliated one time when I shouldn't have, so he's at 15, not at 17. Because we are doing disorienting dirge now, not the, not echoing aria. Okay. All right. Quick rest for both of them. Uh, we're getting down to the nitty gritty here, but I think we're going to be all right. Eleven for the beast tyrant. Fifty six for the sooth singer. Forty two for the earth demon, and twenty nine for the one demon. So one two, and. I will actually have the him move back one. He's just using a, a standard movement on the punch through card. But that way he can... Where's the... Oh, there it is. Okay. That way he can use Earth and Spikes to attack the Wind Demon. Plus zero. So one gets through, but and it immobilizes him. Now the Earth Demon goes... 
He's going to attack the Soothsinger for minus one. He's at disadvantage. All right. So nothing happens. And... Oh, the Wind Demon technically would have gone next. Move plus zero, attack minus one, target two. He can't move. So attack minus one, target two. One, two, three. He can, he can get them both. So so th this, this would have been for the Wind Demon. So that would be against the Beast Tyrant, and then this would be against the Soothsinger. Burn two of those, unfortunately. Oh, and he's going to push them both. One, two, one, two. That's actually not great. Okay. And then on the Earth Demon's turn, he would take a, a, a damage, and then he would move plus one. He would actually go here after the Beast Tyrant. Nothing happens. All right, well, using the standard movement for Singing Arrow, the Soothsinger is going to move here. And then Warding Dagger, attack four, plus one, five. That takes out the Earth Demon. So all we got to get is that Wind Demon, and we are done. All right, so the Soothsinger is doing a long rest, which will be the last thing he can do. Uh, then, so we've got Knight. Oh, no, we've got 14 for the Beast Tyrant, and the Wind Demon is 21. All right, so Beast Tyrant first, one, two. And we'll use the, the move three on Maul, but we actually only need two. We're going to go right there. And then attack two uh, to disarm him. Plus one, so attack three, so one gets through, puts him at four. Oh, that's there now. And disarmed. I think I'm not sure if that has I think that's I think that's right. Oh. And then the long rest for the Sooth Singer. Oh, sorry, hold on. I forgot about the wind. The wind demon's actually got to take, do his turn. Can't move, attack plus zero, pull one. That's interesting. Um, attack plus zero. Oh, we got to shuffle this against the beast tyrant. So that'll be four damage against the beast tyrant. Knocks him down to seven. Okay. Beast tyrant does a short rest. So we lost that card in the short rest. I cannot lose that card, so we'll take the damage. And instead lose punch through, which isn't great, but the bear's still two turns away. All right, so the Soothsinger is knocked out. 11 initiative for the Beast Tyrant, 43 for the Wind Demon. So Beast Tyrant is going to fire... Earthen spikes, three damage attack, times two, six. Oh, is that enough? Six, uh, two shield, so four. Yes, that was it. That's the one. We got him. Oof. Uh, oh, do we? Oh, but you know what? We can use our final two movement to come up here and collect that treasure token. Conclusion, what were Inox and Demons doing together? And so far no north, you rifle through their belongings looking for some indication of their motivation. All you find is some crude scratchings referencing a voice. You glance toward the cave. There may be some clues farther down the tunnels. To the north, Icecrag Peak looms large in the distance. 
uh, which we can unlock, location 25. Still, you feel something calling you to explore the cave, 24, not audibly, but there is a subtle and powerful urge. You look down at the Anox's scribblings, a voice, yes, somehow that sounds familiar. You can almost hear it yourself. Okay, so we unlocked two new locations. Let's see what we get as far as our experience and everything. So for the Beast Tyrant, we have 10 experience plus the scenario. Level three gets you 10 additional, so that's 20 experience, which puts them at 329. There's a few shy of level seven. He got one treasure token, which level three is worth three gold. So he's got 16 gold right now. And he did complete his uh, battle goal, which was one check mark. So he gets a perk. I think we're going to replace replace a no. You know what? Let's get rid of another. Minus one. Replace one minus one card with a plus one card. All right, so there's the minus one card and replace it with that plus one. All right, and then for the Soothsinger, he's got 14 plus the 10 bonus. So 24 puts him at 190. That was a good one. He's getting close. To, he's 20 away from level five all right and then he got one gold piece as well or one treasure so it's three gold puts him at 20 and then he got one check mark so there you go that was mountain pass scenario number 16 for gloomhaven be sure to come back next friday for another game in the series and until next time for board online board offline